subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. Guys, you have blown my mind. 10K for the baby. Thank you guys so freaking much for 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> So in light of reaching 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway just to say thank you to you guys. This giveaway is starting today, the 23rd of June, and it is ending next week, Tuesday, which is gonna be the 29th of June, and I will be announcing the winners on the 30th of June. So I asked you guys if you wanted me to have one winner or two, and you guys voted both on YouTube and Instagram that you wanted there to be two winners. Therefore, I will be giving away two $50 gift cards. And $50 is roughly 718 Rand. The gift cards are going to be from Fashion Nova, Amazon, Take a lot and Superbalist. Take a lot and Superbalist are South African, Amazon, and Fashion Nova deliver worldwide. Now, if you are the winner of these gift cards, then you will be able to choose which gift card you want. And so, how can you enter this giveaway? It's pretty simple. All you need to do: number one, follow me on Instagram. Number two, be subscribed to the channel. And number three, listen carefully. You need to post a clip from one of my videos on your Instagram story. Just go to whatever video that you love, your favorite, and just screen record the part that you want to use. Put it up on your story and say why you chose this clip. So maybe it's your favorite video, maybe it made you laugh, maybe it taught you something, maybe it made you reflect, or maybe, I don't know, guys, like the sun was hitting right on that day, and then you know, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but either way, it, it, it's the one for you. And remember to tag me when you do this, so I will see it. If you don't tag me, guys, I will not be able to see it, unfortunately. So remember, you need to tag me on your story when you are posting this clip. So doing those three things counts as a single entry. If you want a double entry, meaning if you want your name to be put on the list twice, then you can actually get one person to subscribe to my channel. And to prove that you got this one person, this one person needs to comment on this video and say such and such brought me here but they need to use your Instagram handle do you understand so let's say I get someone to subscribe to the channel I will get them to comment under this video and say at Benita Danielle brought me here that way I will be able to link this person to your Instagram and be able to count you as a double entry now again this is not required for you to win but if you want your name to appear twice which means of course it increases your odds of winning then you can get one person to subscribe and comment under the video ladies and gentlemen boys and girls mm, let's get ready to rumble so in today's video i am going to be talking about some of the differences between south africa and america for those of you who don't know i am a south african woman and i'm currently studying accounting in america and i'm doing my fourth year oh i'm tonga by the way for anyone who's curious about what my tribe is i am tonga anyway so since moving to america i had to adjust to a whole lot of things that yo guys some of the things you know what i was just not ready for and i had actually traveled to america before like for vacation let me tell you something guys traveling somewhere temporarily is so different to living there but anyway without further ado let's get into this video the first thing that really 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 like really took me by surprise is daylight savings guys so basically, I don't know if I'm going to explain this well, at two different times of the year, in the beginning of the year and towards the end of the year, they change the clock an hour back or an hour forward. This is basically to get more sunshine in the day. And this really, really, really took me by surprise because I was up one day. Yo, guys, listen, hey, I was up, I was working on an assignment, yeah? The assignment was due in the morning. I had a 7 a.m. class and I had an assignment due for class.
class time. So there I was writing my assignment. All I had was once upon a time. Okay, I didn't really have once upon a time, but essentially I had like two words. So I'm stressed, I'm worried because time is moving, guys. Like, you know what? Like, you know, I just, I'm not gonna finish this essay and then I'm not gonna graduate and then like, and then I'm just, I'm just not gonna make it in life and then I'm gonna live in my parents' basement for the rest of my life and then like, and I really like nice things that I won't be able to afford it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Those were my thoughts at the time. But listen, something happened. The clock went from three o'clock in the morning to 2 a.m. Daylight savings, baby! <laughs> I was able to complete my assignment in time. The next difference between South Africa and America is that in America, a good number of shops have an option called the cashback option. So basically this is, if you go to like Walmart, which is like basically macro, when you pay for something with your card, they give you the option of getting cashback. Let's say your items cost $20. You have the option of getting cashback for $10, 20, 30, 40, which means that instead of charging you the $20, $20 that your stuff costs, they will actually pull $30. That way you'll get cash back of $10. Do you understand? So you pay $30, but that extra 10 that you've paid, they will give it back to you in cash. Honestly, this is a really great invention for people like me who just never carry money. I don't, I don't carry money. You need to have money to carry it. Unless I've missed something in South Africa and I'm just living under a rock. I live in Johannesburg, by the way. This is not something that we have in South Africa or that I've ever seen. And I think that it's something that's really great, actually. The next difference is one that is so annoying and I know it's gonna hit your insides, but guys, there by the Americans, there by America, there by Joe and Kamala's country, my boys. This thing of load shedding is not a thing. Like there is literally never, load shedding like oh let me say in my experience and i live in pennsylvania there's never been load shedding you just always have electricity you know you never have to like prepare for a power outage versus an essay sometimes electricity will be gone for like two hours three hours that's something that i've definitely enjoyed about america is electricity let's get real for a second i really think that our government is disappointing us and this is not some kind of anti-government speech by the way and i'm not going to make any political stances or anything all i'm saying is i feel like as south africans and as south africa we deserve better than a country that barely has electricity and our government needs to do better escom needs to do better for us as a nation because we need to progress guys south africa is such a beautiful and amazing country and we have the potential to become so much more in this life if only we can have people who are willing and ready to govern this country the way it needs to be governed and i repeat this again i'm not making any political stances i am not saying i'm anti this or pro this all i'm saying is we deserve good governance of the country that will allocate our resources effectively that will use our resources in order to build our nation and its people and make it a better world for all of us and that's on period the next difference between america and south africa is drive through atms guys yo i've never seen this in my life until i got to america no need to stand like on your feet in a line you know you can literally just wait in your car like you're getting mcdonald's but it's money instead yo guys that's not something that we have in south africa i'm not sure if it's something that we are ready for as south africa because we do have quite a bit of crime and i feel like people will be waiting there by the drive through atms ready to take your cash as soon as you get it and if you have a nice car bro they're gonna take your cash that you just got from the drive through atm and they're gonna take your car so i don't know if we're ready for that one but i thought it was pretty cool what i'm not sure about though is is it really necessary? It's a convenience, you know? Obviously, you don't have to stand, you can wait in your car when you're in the ATM line, but is it really necessary? I don't know, guys. What do you guys think about that one? Do you think it's helpful or, nah, it's not that deep? Now, this next one, this next one really shocked me. Guys, there by America, there by Joe and Kamala's country, they don't have gates in their houses. Like, literally, they do not have gates. This explains why they were able to do, like, trick-or-treating as kids. Because they don't have gates. Like, literally, what you see on TV is what it is. You literally can walk to someone's door because they don't have a gate. So you don't have to ring an intercom first. You just walk and you're there. Like, 
that is mad for someone who lives in South Africa where literally every single house has a gate and not just a gate but a very tall gate with spikes and also gefarlik ngozi danger beware of the dog signs like that is crazy to me a lot of American houses do not have gates the ones that I've seen to have gates tends to be like the nicer houses if you get what I'm saying no guys this one really shook me like I literally can't imagine living in a house where there's no gate but also imagine living in a country that's safe enough for you to do stuff like that like that is that is luxury that I can't even imagine in South Africa but let's not fool ourselves this is not to say that America is the safest country in the world because we keep hearing and reading about the mass shootings which are happening and of course there's the war on black lives and there's no need for me to go off on a tangent but it's not the safest place in the world but hey they don't have gates I mean you might get shot at a grocery store but hey your house doesn't need a gate though your kid might get shot at school but hey you don't need a gate for your house though. And listen to this. Different states have different time zones. Now, of course there are some states that do have the same time. Literally, you will find yourself traveling to a different state in America and find yourself being in a different time zone. This blew my mother fudging mind because obviously in South Africa, we've got nine different provinces and the time is the same in every single province. But in America, depending on where you are, you will have a different time zone and you actually might suffer jet lag even though you're traveling within the same country. That's mad to me. And another thing about the States, this leads me to my next point, is that people actually have different accents based on which state they are from. So people who are from Southern states tend to have more of your Southern accent. And then people from Baltimore have their own accent. People from Brooklyn have their own accent. And also the vibes from the states are so different. Like Hawaii, for instance, is an American state. And obviously going to Hawaii is such a different vibe to living in New York, to living in New Hampshire, etc., etc. So based on where you are, you will experience different time zones, different accents, different ways of life. That, my guys, is how big America is. Now, in terms of South Africa, we actually do sound different in South Africa. As we know, Afrikaans people have their own accents. Some people sound more British than others. Other people sound differently. So literally based on your upbringing, your education, Education, where you live you literally could have a different accent in South Africa but it's not as wild and as crazy or different as in America the last point that I'm going to explain a little bit at length is the way that schooling is set up in South Africa we have primary school and high school primary school is grade 1 to grade 7 and high school is grade 8 to matric some people also call high school secondary school so those two words are interchangeable depending on the area and your school pretty much However, in America, they actually do things differently. So from grade one to grade five is elementary school. From grade six to grade eight is middle school. And from grade nine to grade 12 is high school. Now, this is something that I found quite interesting because yo, when I think about how after primary school, I had to apply to high school and it was a whole thing, it was kind of stressful. I can't imagine actually having to finish your primary school and then apply for middle school and then apply for high schools. I personally feel like that's a lot of anxiety that I would feel but hey obviously the school system is set up differently and of course those who are raised in that system are able to handle that system so to close off these videos I'm just going to list a few other points and I'm not going to explain them at length but in America the legal drinking age is 21 versus in South Africa where the legal drinking age is 18 a lot of American houses tend to be built by wood as opposed to bricks the next one which actually kind of tripped me up a bit is that America writes dates differently. So in America, they go month, day, year, as opposed to South Africa, where we go day, month, yeah. The last point I'm going to mention is that America uses the imperial system whereas in South Africa we use the metric system. So pretty much we use kilograms, they use pounds. We use kilometers, they use miles. We use liters, they use gallons. This might be a bit trippy for you when you first move there, especially when you are someone who drives and you start talking about miles and when you do your petrol you need to start talking about gallons instead of liters. It's not that big but I mean it's a little bit confusing. It's a little, it's a 
there's a little, it's just different, that's all. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Any videos that you guys would like me to do, please comment down below and I will try and make them happen for you. Peace and love, guys.